you may have things in your life that you do on a regular basis, but you need to set a new task list to do those things every time because there's lots of little details that you want to get right. You want to make sure that you don't forget things. And so you can do that with shortcuts and things really easily. And so I'm going to show you kind of what I do if I'm doing something on a regular basis. And I have an example down here that I'll show you in a sec, but just so you can see how you create it in the first place, uh, we start a new shortcut and then you can really do whatever you want. Uh, but what I want to do is go to things and I'm just going to start making some tasks. And so I'm going to say uh, when the shortcut runs, um, make a new one to uh, record video. And so this would be like if I'm recording a video for this channel, I can add it to a specific list. I can say when I'm going to say today, whenever I run the shortcut, I'm going to re be recording today. So I'll record today. Uh, re reminder time. Uh, let's do one at 6 p.m. So if I haven't done it by six, remind me. And then the deadline for doing this is also today. And then I can add tags, I can set it to different statuses, I can edit it in real time if I want to make some customizations to it uh, when this shortcut runs. I can add notes, make a checklist, and then I can show it when it's running. I'm actually going to skip that because I don't want to see this at all. I just want to hit the button and have it create the tasks. Uh, I'm going to do one more, so I'm going to search for things again, uh, add a new to do, and this is going to be uh, edit video. Right, and so this is gonna be exactly the same. Add it to a better computer project. When, that's gonna to be tomorrow. And then you can use this natural language, which is nice, to make it so that it's not hard-coded to whenever you're making the shortcut. It's gonna be based on when you run the shortcut, when are you going to set these tasks to be due. So the first one was today, the next one's tomorrow, and then whenever you run it, obviously those dates will update to be relevant to whatever date it currently is. Um, and so the reminder will be tomorrow at, again, let's do 6 p.m. And the deadline is tomorrow. There we go. And I'm also going to not show this one when it's run. So if I just name this as uh, YouTube vid, save it, go back. And now if I run it, that's it. And if I go back to a better computer, I can see these were old ones that I made previously, but I have recorded video that's due today. I have edited a video that's due tomorrow. And so those are in there right now, which is really nice. Now, I already have one that I actually use, and so that's this new video project. And so I have a couple here. So I prompt you, or I prompt myself, I should say, to see what the video title is going to be, when am I going to record it, and then it does certain things to make tasks based on when I'm going to do those things. So let me run this one right now to kind of show you my slightly more advanced version of this. So it says, what's the video title? We'll do um, automating things. Done. When am I going to record it? Uh, so I'm going to say I'm going to record it today. Cool. And then it creates some tasks for me. And so if I go back over to things, you can see add automating things to in progress. So this is a reminder for me to use Notion, which I use to track my video projects, move this to in progress instead of a, just an idea. So I can check that off when it's done. And then automating things is again, the name of the video. And now I have a checklist, record the video, edit the video, create the video title, create a thumbnail and upload to YouTube. And so those are the broad strokes things that I need to make sure I do for every video. And then I can mark the whole thing done when I'm ready. So that's how you can use shortcuts to automate task creation in things. Mm -hmm.